hello 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 guys and welcome to another video in this video we are going to analyze bella protocol so it has been around for a while so this is the market cap around 34 million dollars and fully diluted is around 58 million dollars and this is the price chart so you can say that this has been an old project now with couple of years of trading going on so now quickly let's let's get started with the Bella protocol so this is the uh, uh, entire ecosystem uh, which concludes mainly the Binance lab of course UNICEF is just for uh, the liquidity and everything but Binance labs is there one of the investors at least that's what they claim on the website so interesting uh, to see Binance as an investor uh, apart from that uh, as you can see they have a couple of interesting options like flex saving and liquidity farm so we are gonna uh, see uh, what is the state of uh, of all these things and if you are new to the cryptocurrency market then i'll also try to explain what is flex saving and what is liquidity farm so what is uh, Bela? then the Bela is multi-chain liquidity powerhouse etc etc you can go on the website and read all these things these are the free features but these are very generalized things so we are gonna go into the details very quickly now so let's go on the website uh, and uh, I mean the app and so if, if you go on the app uh, then you, uh, and and if you are old in the cryptocurrency market you will know what liquidity mining is so if you click here on the liquidity mining section uh, the first step then you can provide liquidity for bell tokens and get rewards in the bell tokens so if you click on that then you will see it here uh, the liquidity so you can provide uh, the you can mine the bell uh, tokens by providing liquidity here uh, so yeah now if you click here on the flex saving button here then these two options will be there pools and farms so uh, uh, you will get different APY on different assets which probably managed by their AI board so it is their this is the flex saving section and as you can see the different APYs on different uh, assets uh, uh, and they, they claim that this is uh, managed by the extremely cutting edge technological uh, AI board so yeah and uh, at least that's what they mentioned in the docs so now uh, there were many uh, projects before this that gave similar products and didn't survive because the users left users left because they didn't find a solid community which can make this project survive for the longer term that's why community bonding is the key and that and that's what we are addressing at the long term point with a totally unique model in which you can start an entire project which will be launched by a community instead of a few people the community can decide if they want to go with a wallet or product like this whatever the community decides uh, you can launch that product and that uh, pro that project and that uh, that can only happen when there is a powerful community bond so this uh, if you see the chart then the, uh, the chart is in the declining position uh, and the reason for that is uh, uh, that they do not it seems that they do not have a very powerful or you can see a solid community uh, which can uh, drive the project's growth so almost all the successful cryptocurrency projects are de driven by the community anyways so now apart from that if you click on this locker uh, then what you will see is this thing uh, uh, you you can uh, get very high APY by locking your bell tokens and you can see different rate of returns uh, for different lock-in periods 30 days 60 120 and 360 days again this concept is introduced by many in the past and they have failed because token price has dropped faster than the rate of such returns so uh, if you are expecting 36 uh, percent return in uh, 120 days but the price of this bell token has declined even further even quicker so that's why this won't uh, happen so this has happened i'm not saying that this is going to happen this uh, right now with this project this has happened in the past and even if you see this chart you can say that uh, 30 it has declined on uh, more than 36 percent on many occasions so this is something which you need to which one needs to be cautious about and uh, uh, so 
uh, that's why I keep saying that uh, if such projects are managed by a community who has power, uh, who who has solid internal bonding, then this this kind of in, uh, this these projects can survive in this kind of difficult situations, and that is why at the long term coin community we will give thirty percent of the fees to the charity. Uh, and uh, that will only be the, the which uh, charity or which social cause the funds should be allocated will be decided by the community so this simple process creates a powerful bond between community members and stronger the bond more decentralized the project so most people in this world are focusing on hard work and that's why they hardly focus on the direction people are blindsided by the hard work similarly people with great crypto projects like this are blindsided by their market caps uh, and the, the concepts like new concepts like flex, flex saving and I also uh, heard some other terms uh, on this uh, page I forgot the term uh, which is Bella Tuner so I have first, uh, heard first time something like this word called Tuner uh, when it comes to liquidity farming but uh, people are blindsided by uh, uh, all these ideas and market caps and etc but in reality only decentralized projects driven by the community will survive that is why community bonding is the next important step at long term point when you join the network you get to decide where to allocate funds of people who join the network after you and this approach creates powerful bonding between you and other community members this bond helps you all to drive the project now if, if you go on the features section then they have uh, first of all what they have said is gas saver uh, which is absolutely necessary these days apart from that they they say that they have a uh, low management fees and it's a good thing but users will pay them higher management fees as well if they make things uh, decentralized so this this is a very standard rate but even if they want to uh, charge 0.5 percent or 0.75 percent they can do that only when they have a powerful decentralized community running the projects so users are also looking for secure platforms so i wish that uh, wish that their community takes part in every decision decision to make things decentralized so at the long term point this is exactly what we want to address most cryptocurrencies start with the promise of decentralization but in the end they are forced to touch the reality uh, uh, of that uh, of that uh, that uh, decentralization is tough and impossible uh, for the most project so yeah uh, so another feature is reward booster so reward booster is uh, is a concept that allows them to keep their users stick to them but if the project again if the project is decentralized then users will automatically stick with them as they know uh, that the project will be here for the longer period so uh, of course uh, uh, when you stake you get certain portion of uh, rewards etc uh, i think th this feature is very similar to bella, bella locker or maybe they have renamed it to bella locker i don't know but it's very similar to that but again users will stick to them so what they are trying to do here is investors they are trying to make investor sticks but uh, stick but they should focus on uh, keeping the user stick and that can only happen uh, when the project uh, will be here for the long longer period and that can happen when there is decentralization so on reward boosters you can uh, delay your bell rewards and you can gain uh, uh, more bell tokens by doing so but as i said if they focus on decentralization then they do not have to necessarily do all this decentralization is an attribute which if focused well can create magics and that is why at long term coin we want you to have the power to allocate other investors funds in social causes by joining the network in reality most projects are reluctant to address the important issue of decentralization which decentralization which is only going to help the project grow that's why we want to address the issue of decentralization by creating a community that takes part in giving process together projects are focusing on a picture uh, that can mesmerize investors and investors do fall in that trap but not for long to create long lasting project one needs to have long lasting community and that is what we want to solve by making community participate in a common task of allocating funds uh, of each other for the social causes so this creates a solid bond and gradually the longer the process the better it is to create a powerful bond and it will 
gradually help the cryptocurrency project. So if you are planning to invest whether in this project or any other cryptocurrencies, then at least think about the principles which were laid down by Satoshi Nakamoto regarding decentralization. I am sure if you will think for some time most project will vanish within a blink of an eye and this is not an investment advice i am just sharing my investment approach cryptocurrency investing should be fun and profitable and that can happen only when you are investing in projects that are totally decentralized just like bitcoin and that issue is the most important to address for any cryptocurrency project most projects die and it also kills investors hard earned money with it that is why even if we fail at long term coin i know that uh, uh, we have worked in the right direction a direction of building a powerful community and even after that if we fail then i am happy with that but at least i know that i uh, what i am doing is not going to go anywhere these projects die and everything dies with it but even if our projects fail the community will always be there and when the, there is community we can always launch a new cryptocurrency project so some some day some project will definitely survive so i think this is the right direction right approach and if you want to be part of this approach then you can join my telegram community i will put the link in the description i hope you enjoyed this video you enjoyed this conversation and i hope my talks made sense to you and if you did then please hit the like button do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to join my telegram community